In this lesson, we're going to take a look at how to create some 2D assets to use inside of Spark. So for this, we're going to use After Effects and a free plugin called Saber from Video Copilot. It's a rad plugin that gives you these really cool kind of lightsaber or laser effects with a lot of kind of fractal noise off of it. So in After Effects, I'll make a new composition. And we'll just set this to 1024 by 1024. And hit OK. And I'll just rename this by hitting Enter. Name it Laser. Then in the window down here, we can hit Control or Command Y to make a new solid. And this can be black. And it should default to the comp size. And then from here, we can go to our effects and presets, find Video Copilot, and grab the Saber plugin. By default, we just get this nice blue little straight line. And there's a lot of presets. There's a lot of presets. So I'm just going to click through a few of these until we find one that's a nice kind of shooting fast laser look. And for this, I like the fire preset because it has a lot of turbulence, but a really nice, strong kind of beam in the center. So I'll change it from this orange to more of a green. And I want this laser to be moving really fast, so let's adjust some of the speed settings. So these settings will be found under distortion, both for the glow and for the core. The glow, I think, is this outer area. So if we turn up the wind speed, you can start to see this moving a little bit faster. We can also turn up the motion blur to exaggerate this effect. And then we'll go into core distortion and increase this wind speed as well. And we can also increase the motion blur here. And you can see if this is too high, we get some banding. You can see here there's individual kind of samples. So if you do use motion blur, maybe don't go too crazy with it. Now this is looking cool, but there's an obvious cut between the loops because it's not seamless. And in our case, we want this laser to be really fast and energetic. Right now, it's kind of this slower ambient pace. So a quick way to speed this whole thing up is click this little thing over here, and that will reveal these settings. And then in stretch, we can turn this down maybe to 25%, and then make sure this is set as well. That way, it'll loop. Now if we play this, it's a lot faster, and you don't really notice when it loops because it's going so fast that you know there's a lot of motion, and so those seams are basically hidden. So we're getting pretty close to a usable asset here. Now I want to actually make this whole thing thinner. So an easy way to do this, rather than adjusting these settings, is just to select this layer and actually just scale it in. That will pinch the whole thing together. That way we get this nice focused laser effect. And we're going to use a sprite sheet later. So the thinner this is, the more sprites we can fit on one sheet. And another thing we want to keep in mind is that this glow might fade off pretty far out. So let's add a curves adjustment here. And that way, if we crank up this, we can see how far it actually goes. So it looks like it goes about a third of the way out to the edge. So when we texture pack, the edge of this texture will be pretty close to where the laser is, so that's good. If there was much more glow, this would reach all the way up to here, probably, and then we wouldn't be able to fit nearly as much onto one sheet. So I'll delete that curves, and now we can render this out. So to render this, just hit Control-M, and that submits it to this little render queue. And then in the output module, we'll change it from lossless to ping sequence. And then in channels, make sure alpha is added on there. 
and hit OK. And then we just have to set our output. And then just hit render. Looks like that rendered out OK. Up next, we're going to pack this using Texture Packer. 